I'm having a lot of fun playing Battlefield Hardline. Um, I seen the review of GameSpot, and they gave the game a seven. I don't think it's it's uh, that's right to get that kind of game a seven, because um, I had a lot of fun on the single player. I haven't played much of the multiplayer yet, but the single player alone to me is worth at least an eight. At least an eight. Um, there's, you know, I like the weapons. I like the attachments on the weapons. There's a lot of things that I love about Battlefield Hardline. I mean, I played the, uh, the single player cadet, you know, which is the beginning, um, level that you can play. And I beat the game. You know, I got all the, uh, most of the weapons. I ain't gonna say, you know, but I got all the attachments for the weapons. I have, uh, um, let me see, right now I think I'm, I'm uh, on the expert level. As a matter of fact, I, I think I'm at level 15 right now on the expert level, which is the highest level that you can get for the uh, expert, you know, thing and all. And the expert, you know, the expert level, basically, it gives you more weapons, more attachments, and things like that, you know what I'm saying? If you also find evidence in the game, you get more uh, attachments and all, and I think more weapons too. But uh, I unlocked all the weapons that I like uh, on the game, which is basically the Desert Eagle. I love the Desert Eagle. The De Desert Eagle is a beast right now. I mean, seriously. I, uh, a lot of the uh, um, multiplayer games, the single player games, if you have a Desert Eagle on that game, I'm going to play it. And then my second favorite gun or, or rifle or whatever is the AK-74U. That thing is a that gun right there. That rifle is a monster. It is a monster. Okay, seriously. And with the attachments like the uh, extending mags and stuff like that, man, it just <laughs> that gun right there or the rifle. You know what I'm saying? It really brings it out. You know, um, the only thing I I wouldn't put on the AK-74 you or the uh, AK-47 is a scope. I don't. You know. I, I, when you put a scope on the AK 74U or the AK 47, it just it looks funny. You know what I'm saying? To me, it does. You know, um, that's why I don't put scopes on there. But like, I'll put like extended max or you know a longer barrel or something like that on it. You know, um, yeah. I mean, just just me though. I don't like scopes and stuff like that. But anyway. I have everything that I, I like to, you know, I, that I wanted to unlock on the games, fire the weapons and stuff like that. And, you know, I beat it on Cadet. I loved the whole campaign through and through. You know, the campaign was awesome. It's a spinoff from uh, the Battlefield series. It's not about, you know, soldiers, you know, uh, saving the saving America, saving the world, stuff like that. It's about cops, you know, cops, good cops, and crooked cops. That's what it's basically about, you know. And from the start of the game, um, you know, uh, the prologue was, was pretty good too. But the episode one, when I started playing that, I was like, wow, I was really into it. Right from the episode one, you know. And it got me into it so much that I just, I sat there and played the whole thing, like, nonstop for, like, five, six hours. I don't think nonstop, but anyway, it got me so into that game that I just played it, like, the whole way through, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's a spinoff, you know, but it has a lot of the Battlefield um, series implements, you know, uh, um, you know, it has a lot of Battlefield uh, things that, you know, that's known to Battlefield, you know. Um, basically, the, the shooting of the buildings or whatnot, the buildings collapsing and stuff like that. Um, you know, that still goes on and all. The, the driving is still the same, you know. So, you still will, uh, once you play the game, you'll still see a lot of the... Uh, battlefield, you know, you'll see a, uh, you'll still see a lot of battlefield in it, you know, 
but it's a cop game, and it's not just a, it's not a soldier game. Now, it, it kind of reminds me of uh, a lot of uh, Battlefield Bad Company. You know, Battlefield Bad Company too. It reminds me a lot of that game. You know, um, but you know, it's totally different from any of the Battlefield series that you know I've played so far. But I I really really like the game, and uh, you know, I don't think that GameSpot gave that game a right score. I think it should have been a little bit higher than that because 7 is basically in the rental uh, stage right there. It's like, it's not really even worth buying. Now this is just to me. Y'all may see it differently, but this is just to me. It, it's like, 7 is saying, okay, it's worth renting, but it's not worth buying. And to me, it's worth buying and renting. You know? Um, so, yeah, I... I I'm going to play it again. I like I like it and all. I haven't played the multiplayer yet. And uh, the reason why is because I've been so stuck into the single player, you know. Um, so this is just my thoughts of the game, my impressions uh, so far of the game. I've been playing it for, uh, I've been playing it since, yeah, since uh, early Monday, uh, not early Monday, but uh, early Tuesday, you know. I've been playing, uh, you know, a pretty good deal of it. Like I said, I haven't got into multiplayer, which I will soon. But uh, so far, the single player is outstanding. It's not in the nine range. It's not a masterpiece. Because here's the, I got to tell you, there's a problem with the game that kind of stands out a little bit. The shooting is good. The story is good. You know, I like the story. The gameplay is good. This is just to me, you know. Y'all may have a different opinion, but the story is excellent. The, the shooting is good, you know. But the only problem is when you run up to somebody, <coughs> excuse me, when you run up to somebody and show your, your and flash your badge, they, and, and they got like a, uh, uh, AK-47 or something like that, some high-power assault rifle, you know what I'm saying, that they're carrying on them, they stop what they're doing and be like, in a very loud voice, by the way, I give up, you know, okay, okay, you know, I give up. In a very loud way, and I'm like, there's people that's like, when, when I flash my badge, right, there was other people around, you know, that wasn't too far from, you know, where I was at and, and um, you know, where the guy was standing, you know what I'm saying? And he says there in the loudest voice, okay, I give up. I give, you mean to tell me nobody can hear that? I was like, wow, nobody can hear that. That's crazy. Huh, okay, I'll just take your ass down then. Nobody can hear that. That was, that was nuts. But... Other than that, I mean, that that badge, it's like when you freeze somebody and tell them, freeze, you know, and, and showing your badge, they drop everything what they're doing. Even if they, if, if they're, uh, if you got a gun and they got an assault rifle, they stop whatever they're doing and they, you know, they like, they just give up. Just like, like that, you know. And that's the one problem that I have with the game because of that. That is not realistic. It is not realistic at all. But you can oversee that by the gameplay that that game has. You can oversee that. It's a little hiccup. You know, it's something that it might bother you every now and then. You might look at that and say, wow, that, that would not happen in real life. But at the same time, you can get over it after a while. You know, especially when you do it like over and over again. It's like. Okay, whatever. I'll just take him down even though there's a guy around the corner and, you know, and I know he can hear, but he's going to act like he don't hear, so whatever. Um, but, yeah, I would definitely go and, and buy the game, you know, and uh, check it out for yourself, you know. Um, leave comments below, whatever, and uh, let me know what's your thoughts of the game. And, um, yeah, I'm going back to play the game right now because it's that good. I'm going to play it again. I beat it on Cadet. Now I'm on officer mode, and I'm going to play it all the way until I get to hardline, you know. I know it's going to be tough because, boy, whew, when they shoot you, like on officer mode right now, you get like uh, 
a hundred uh, percent health, right? And when in one shot takes away twenty percent health each time. When it was on cadet, it was ten percent. Now it's twenty percent. And like I say, you only get a hundred percent health. So five shots and you dead, you know. And you know it's it's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna do it. So I'm I'm you know I'm gonna get it all the way to hard line and get that uh that uh, achievement for it. So anyway. Um, check the game out for yourself and, um, uh, you know, it's worth it. It's, it's worth definitely buying. So, all right, this is the bear and I'm out. Peace.